Half Green Boy of the Terraces. This movie follows a boy who is interested to learn about physical activity. Watch what happens when he tries to get sexual with his so-called sister. The film begins by introducing Nura, a boy who appears younger than his actual age. Consequently, he is permitted to use the public women's shower. But as he undergoes puberty, he begins to gaze at the nude women with desire and wonder, even while his mother bathes him. Later, Nura's two older friends attempt to flirt with women in the market, and he tries to join them. However, their actions draw the ire of the village sheikh, prompting the trio to flee. They later search for glass bottles, with Nura helping them. While scouring for bottles, Nura peers through a wall and watches young women engaged in household chores. After collecting a sufficient number of glass bottles, Nura's older friends sell them at a store without sharing the profits with him. The store manager then tasks Nura with delivering a bottle of alcohol to Sali. On his way, Nura encounters interruptions from others, but eventually reaches Sali's store, where he discovers Sali is working on a play and meets an actress who has arrived. However, Nura soon hears strange noises coming from inside the store while playing with a bell. Later that night, Nura's father and the village sheikh punished him for hanging out with older boys who harass women, resulting in Nura being beaten with a stick and left limping. However, family members intervene and take him upstairs, where his father insists Nura will now work in a barber's shop. While resting, Nura's mother tells him a bedtime story about a monster who cannot touch virgins but is interested in young children and eats them. In the next scene, Nura is seen sweeping the floor of the barber's shop, as he has been instructed to work there by his father. Suddenly, a group of people protesting against the government gather outside the store, but the police arrest many of them. In the midst of the chaos, a police officer enters the barber's shop looking for a man named Yusef, Sultan, but declines the barber's offer for a shave. Nura warns his friend about danger, but his advice is initially ignored. His friend's father intervenes and orders the shop to be closed. Nura informs his worried mother and scares her to avoid work. The next day, Nura drinks with friends. The sheikh confronts him, but Sali persuades him. Accusations against Nura's friend arise, but Sali and others defend them. Latifa, a beautiful relative, captures everyone's attention. Latifa returns home and shows everyone what she bought, including clothes and makeup accessories. Later, Nura's father expresses his disapproval of Latifa's divorced status and open lifestyle to his wife. However, she convinces him that Latifa will be helpful during their son's circumcision. Nura finds his father flirting with a girl and discovers his stash of magazines with naked women. He steals one and shows it to his friends, who ask him to sneak into the women's public shower to look at their bodies. Nura is reluctant but his mother takes him there and he observes women bathing while covering their private parts. He later tells his friends what he saw. Shortly after, Nura's paternal aunt starts convulsing and writhing in agony. Nura and his mother try to restrain her while his father goes to fetch the sheikh. They believe that she is being controlled by an evil entity. The sheikh arrives and uses a stick to burn her shoulder, assuring the family that all will be well. The sheikh brings a girl named Layla to the family, claiming she is an orphan who has lost her family due to evil spirits. He suggests that the family adopt her. Layla is a lovely young girl, who needs to learn how to do household chores. Nura observes his mother teaching Layla household chores and hitting her for being incompetent. Meanwhile, he witnesses people being arrested for protesting against the government. One day, a butcher offers Nura a piece of premium meat as a gift for Latifa, but Nura becomes fearful after recalling the story of the monstrous man and imagines the butcher's face as that of the monster. He decides to discard the meat in a dustbin instead of giving it to Latifa. Nura asks Latifa for some chewing gum and she gives him some. He then goes to meet Sali and gives him the gum. Sali eats it without thinking. Nura also gives Latifa's bra to his older friend in exchange for some books. Nura witnesses his father hugging Latifa from behind, but she pushes him away, and Nura feels disgusted. Later, a group of girls comes to the house, and while they are sitting and laughing, one of them pulls Nura and jokingly tells him he will be circumcised again the next day. Nura visits Sali at the barber's shop and shares his rejection story about Latifa. Later, he helps his family with the function and again goes to the public shower with his mother's help. Inside, Nura tries to sneak a peek at a woman's body, but is caught by another woman who reports him to his mother. His mother gets angry and sends him back home. Feeling upset, Nura returns to the house and finds a large crowd gathered for the function. He decides to hide until the event is over. Despite his mother's efforts to find him, Nura remains hidden. Meanwhile, the men arrive and settle down, and Layla is also asked to search for him. However, Nura's older friends begin to harass and flirt with Layla during the dancing and celebration. Sali arrives and sings a song expressing his love for Latifa, who rejects him once again, causing laughter among the guests. Nura overhears everything, including his brother's cries during the circumcision procedure. 
Finally, Layla discovers Nuro, sleeping, and decides not to disturb him. Upon waking up, Nuro finds that everyone has already left and decides to climb onto the roof. There, he observes Sally and Latifa getting intimate and feels relieved that she won't be alone and unprotected. However, on his way back, he becomes attracted to Layla and tries to unbutton her top, but she rolls over. Later, Nura and Sally are flirting in Sally's store while making a shoe for Latifa. Although Latifa is hinting at the idea of marriage, Sally rejects it. Eventually, Nura and Latifa return home, where Nura notices some men surrounding Layla, who is bleeding. At that moment, Nura imagines Layla as the virgin girl and the men as monster men. The police close an alcohol shop for attracting people who want freedom. Nura worries about his freedom and goes to undress Layla, but fails. Nura asks Sally when a boy becomes a man and later helps Sally sleep after he erases and rewrites something about the president while drunk. Nura attempts to undress Layla again, but she stops him in her sleep. Sally gets arrested for defacing a pro-government slogan, and before he is taken to jail, he asks Nura to tell Latifa to wait for him. Nura feels down and sits alone at the beach, contemplating his surroundings. When Nura is at home, his mother insists that he bathe and asks Layla to wash his hair. While washing, Nura offers Layla a towel and encourages her to undress completely, as women do at the public shower. Layla hesitates, but Nura offers to give her a massage to make her comfortable. Layla eventually undresses and lies down on the bench, but they are interrupted by the arrival of their family. Nura's mother is outraged by Layla's behavior, and orders her to leave the next day. In the evening, Nura releases a bird and later finds Layla naked under the blanket, which makes him happy. The next day, Sheikh comes to take Layla away and compliments Nura for growing up, while his father tries to hit him. However, Nura now runs away happily. The family experiences a sense of freedom as even the widow leaves the house wearing makeup. If you like this recap subscribe to our channel. Suggest which movie we should do for the next glimpse it.